Squid say, Marie Zimbabwe, welcome to our channel Zim Confessions and Deep Secrets. Can I carry it down? channel? Please don't forget to subscribe. Can I do more? Can subscriber? Don't forget to comment and share this video. Nas Marie Zimbabwe, the figure in your body squad, that the former citizens coalition for change, President Fanoso Chamisa, have been booted by Chikola for my fresh elections, which declare that my elections are going to 2023. They were rigged and they were vowed. Chamisa, a charismatic leader of Abuda, Pastor Iwo, uh, the discussion about my elections at 2028 is premature, but and irrelevant. Uh, as in uh, 2023, Yaga, Zizere, Mare Zimbabwe, uh, Abuda, Pastor Achiti, 2028, uh, Avas Kutombo a uh, focus on 2023 since the 2023 elections were now and void which are actually so I exist there is need for my fresh elections Maria Zimbabwe uh, a Buddha which acknowledge my challenges are faced with my Zimbabweans but to what I will you continue the struggle uh, for electoral justice which are evil which is the fact that my uh, challenges are repo doesn't mean that it's impossible my elections in Zimbabwe, but is going to fight until Papinda Pachigaro. Since in those against the struggle, he answers he is a farmer, but he's going to fight Kushka Papinda Pachigaro. Mare Zimbabwe, a good as criticizer. However, I'll go on my elections at 2028 as a solution. A Mastora Evo, but she is a big squad, easy as a 20. 28, Mare Zimbabwe, eh, there is need for my proper processes, eh, proper produce for my proper leaders, Mare Zimbabwe, and then they run. I was kind of skeptical about my proper electoral eh, reforms, Mare Zimbabwe, uh, since eh, the people must fight to make sure with the eh, part of my reforms, my elections. Wakabuda, eh, for example, Wachitika na Muna Kajiga, Chikafa kanzo wa mudumbo Azurewe kuti kujika kwa shata Kujika chikafa chaka shata Ndo kwa Ndo kusina kunaka Mare Zimbabwe Shinzasi ukonde ma kujika Nia kwa jika chikafa chaka shata Azusiri hizo Wakabuda Shitora hivo Wachiti my election Zaka nanka bad Kwa my election Zaka shata It doesn't mean Kuti voting Yaka shata Mare Zimbabwe Wachamisa wakabuda Shakari Wachikonde ma kusungwa Kukwitwa the opposition activists is a carry the more pro democracy campaigners. Stora Ivo, like it is Zimbabwe, a final of a sango, since Mamona Trukwita, a Vamnangagua, is a dictator, and there is a lot of dictatorship. Munika is Zimbabwe, and the as no Mera Moshe, my Zimbabwe, and I will face some challenges daily, but as Zimbabwe, and the Vamana struggler, and the struggler for everything from transport, a roads and the power outages nekusha yikuwa kwe mbura and Zimbabwe ya naomira mwishi Zimbabwe ya nukufana na nesangu mbure Zimbabwe ya tingazie kuti mune wana osei nyaya ii bati vatikira na wakata wala iwo but it is going to make sure kuti nyaya ya my elections are 2023 ya gadzili skwa he said it is going to call for a fresh election was naomira mwishi kwa kwa truku ita this is hada kisami truku ita kwa mwana mzimbabwe and my sadak leaders are kuhuya from a sadak ya inge ya ka muda yu chiti my elections ya haka kaitu kwa anga siri credible anga siri free and fair but hapa na chika gazi li skwa nye ya budi skwa nye zimu ayi wa chitora ya wa chiti former citizens coalition for change president Nelson Chamisa has called for fresh elections declaring the 2023 polls rigged and void Chamisa a charismatic leader insisted that discussions about the 2028 elections are premature and irrelevant until the controversies surrounding the 2023 polls are fully addressed. 2028 is not on the table at all, Chamisa stated emph emphatically. Talking about 2028 presupposes that we had a 2023, but 2023 was a nullity, a void, therefore it does not exist. Uh, nothing stands on nothing. Jamisa acknowledged the challenges faced but emphasized the need to continue the struggle for electoral justice. The fact that we have yet challenges doesn't mean that it's impossible or it's not doable. 
we must continue fighting until we get it. That's why it is called a struggle. It's never a walk in the park. It's not instant coffee or picking pumpkins. He criticized those of you the 2028 elections as a solution, stressing the importance of addressing the flaws in the current system. We must fix what is broken now. Chamisa aged calling for electoral reforms that would ensure the emergence of, of legitimate leaders. We must have proper processes that produce proper leaders. People must not be skeptical about proper electoral and national processes because ultimately that is what we must fight to restore. Using a vivid analogy, Chamisa illustrated this point. If you eat a meal and we have a stomach pains, you have stomach pains and diarrhea, do you move around saying eating is not good? No, eating a proper meal is not good, but don't condemn eating because you ate a bad meal. Chamisa also condemned the ongoing arrests targeting opposition activists and pro-democracy campaigners, liking, likening Zimbabwe to a jungle. He said, what we are seeing is a definition of dictatorship. The everyday lived realities of citizens are indicative of the challenges we face daily. Zimbabwe is, a, is such a jungle, and being a Zimbabwean is a struggle. You struggle for everything. Water, transport, roads, power outages, it's a nightmare. The crackdown, the arrests, the persecution are reminders that those in power, that they have overstayed their welcome. But it's also a reminder to all the citizens that the power in office are the old ones. That the people in office are the old ones. For the first time since the founding, since the founding of the movement for democracy, for democratic change in 1999, Nelson Chamisa is not affiliated with any political party. He resigned from the CCC in January, a party he had helped establish just over two years ago, citing this contamination and hijacking by the ruling European party. Well, that is a question we don't usually answer easily. Um, and I think that in our statement, we put it a little bit differently. And look, our goal is to authenticate the process. If the process is flawed, then the result cannot be legitimate. But the manner in which we couched our, 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 um, our conclusion is as follows, and I think I would like to end at this, because then you are able to deduce on how we view this election as Saudi. Mm. We said in our conclusion that in conclusion, the mission observed that the pre-election and voting phases on 23rd, 24th August 2023 harmonized elections were peaceful and calm. However, for reasons outlined above, the mission noted that some aspects of the harmonized elections fell short of the requirements of the Constitution of Zimbabwe, the Electoral Act, and the Sadiq principles and guidelines governing democratic elections as of 2021. So basically, that is our position at this time. We are now working on our final report uh, that is going to be even more a clearer in terms of how we are going to investigate all the other issues that are in this report in our making of the final report.